if you if you don't know that someone's about to do this to you, and you're just going up about your way. Last one's on me. Uh -oh. What? There's no one in here. That's sniped. Stay alive. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Yo, what is up guys, Metaphor here, and today's video is going to be my final settings video for Warzone 3 slash MW3, whatever it may have you. Um, my PC specs will be in description if you guys want to compare. Um, understand that these are my settings, and you can lower some of these, which I will show you if you guys want your game to feel better. Um, but mine are higher, like my individual settings are higher, not for FPS reasons, but to make my game look better for YouTube and for Twitch. So understand that those settings for me are going to be different than for you, but I'll show you what those settings are for you guys to uh, be able to change it on your own. So we're just going to get all the important ones out of the way first that everyone's probably clicking on for, and then we'll go to the more in-depth ones right after. Um, so first things first, uh, these are the graphic settings. This is pretty important. This actually makes it look a lot better uh, for one. And also, if you don't want the texture bug to happen as often, setting this to 50 can help you out quite a bit. Uh, I personally still get the issue, but I know a lot of people setting this to 50 made it so the issue didn't happen for them anymore. Now, these are some of the settings where you could definitely turn these on low, but you know, like I said, with my PC specs, obviously I have a top of the line PC. Um, you definitely can turn them up and still get high FPS if your PC is um, if your PC is good enough. So, but I don't recommend running things like shadows on high or anything like that. A very important setting to put on right here, by the way, is affected and wide. This will actually make your gun have less visual recoil when you're shooting your weapons. You want to make sure you turn off your motion blur and you want your first person camera to be on 50%. These are extremely important settings that everyone should have on. And I'm assuming there's going to be some people in the video that are not, or in the comment section that don't have those settings, but there you go. Uh, and then we'll go into keyboard settings. So a lot of you guys ask about my sensitivities. Uh, I have 2.85 base. I'm also on 2000 DPI. Now this is where it gets a little crazy with me. Uh, my set, my sensitivity isn't actually as high as people think it is with 2000 DPI. And that's because I'm using multipliers here and I have different multipliers for every scope size. And this allows me to have better tracking in close quarter, despite the fact that I can uh, have fast sensitivities when I'm essentially like centering my gun around when I when I ADS my weapon especially in close quarters this allows me to have very good accuracy at close range here's my keybinds I don't really do anything too crazy here um I'll just go through this slowly so a lot of people have asked me about my prone button and my and my slide button so the way that I actually slide is with left control I actually use the area under my pinky to hit control and then I press shift with my uh, thumb. I'm also drop shotting and like snaking with X. So I'm using my index finger for that. But yeah, the way that I actually slide cancel is a little bit weird. I use part of my hand to hit control. It's because the way that my hand sits on my keyboard, it's a little bit unique, but it works for me. So that's why I do that. And my ping button is on middle mouse button. I don't actually use the gas mask keybind. I don't, I, even though they've added that to the game. So if you guys didn't know, you can actually find a button to your gas mask in your inventory now to turn it on and off without opening your inventory. I'll be honest, dude. I just, I either have it on or I don't have one and I usually don't have one. So that's pretty much me, but I'm not saying that's what you guys should do. Um, and now here, this is the sprint settings and stuff like that. So I actually don't use uh, auto tack or anything. I use regular settings. So when I'm sprinting, I'm mashing shift to get my tack, uh, tack sprint up. And that's pretty standard for me. I just feel like that's more comfortable in, in video games compared to automatic tactical sprint. I feel like that's like kind of unnatural, so I don't like doing that.
There you go. Here's my audio settings. So I will show you guys real quick. So if you're if you're on console, uh, I don't know which one. I think this is TV speaker. I don't I don't know. I, I think this is TV speaker. If you're on console, you want to put it on TV speaker or PC speaker, depending on what input you're on or what uh what platform you're on. But to go with the audio here, uh, actually, we will there will be a timestamp in the description to go to the audio settings outside of the game. Uh, I do use loudest EQ. If you guys know what that is, then there you go. And if not, I will show you through the video. Here's some interface settings. It's all pretty standard stuff. I'm sure most people don't really care about this, but you know, there's probably going to be a few thousand people watching, so I'll just go through it all. And there's nothing in there. I would click on this, but then it would show my VPN, so I don't want to do that. And for those of you guys who are wondering about my controller settings, I am an absolute burger on controller, but I do aimbot people. And this is what I run on controller. I run 6.3 with 0.9. I have the slowest setting or sensitivity known to man. If you guys are controller players and you have a lower sensitivity than me, let me know in the comments down below because that would be hilarious. I highly doubt it. I also run default aim assist, but you guys know me. I don't really play controller often, so that's just me being a bot. It is what it is. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything here. I don't think I did. I think that's probably everything. Uh... That's probably it. Uh, I do have this on off. Some people have it on, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be off. Uh, and also, if you guys ever, this isn't like an ad or anything. He's just my homie. If you guys ever have any uh, issues with your PCs or anything, hit up my boy FPS Reese on Twitter, FPS underscore Reese on Twitter. He's the one who builds my PCs and sends them out to me. Super good guy. He's also located in Canada. Um, so if you guys are interested in getting a PC from, from somebody local or something like that, he lives in Toronto, uh, the Toronto area. So... There is that, and he's super. He's a super good guy, and he's very knowledgeable about PCs. Uh, and here's how you activate loudness EQ, by the way, for those of you that are wondering. So you're going to want to go to right here, the little system thing, sounds. Click on sounds right here. Go to whatever your audio is playing out of, and then go to properties on that. Click on enhancements, loudness EQ. Turn that on, and then click on the settings, and go to short. I don't actually know what this does. I just know that apparently it's better. And the only thing I will say is some of you guys are going to comment, dude, I don't have loudness EQ. You can Google how to get it. I promise you, you can get loudness EQ on any PC setup. I promise a hundred percent you can. Um, I'd really got nothing else to say about that, but I promise you, you can get it even if you think you can't. Um, if it's not there for you, I'm sorry. I've never had that issue, so I don't really know what to say, but I know for a fact you can get it. So just... Go on YouTube and search that up. And that's basically all I really have for you guys when it comes to a settings video. If you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like and comment on the video. If you found anything helpful, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you guys are new. I upload new content every single day. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Oh, I just knocked that guy. JV is bingo fuel. RTB at this. Target locked. Yeah, okay. Yo, can you hold this for me? Huh? Not for you.